hi my lovelies and welcome back to my channel if you're new here then welcome thank you so much for clicking on the video and if you're not new here then welcome back so today we're going to be doing a full face of revolution makeup because if you watched my last few videos actually you would see that i got a few items from the grease collection still not 100 sure which palette i'm going to use in the, this video today i'll decide when it gets to the eye side of things but yeah that is what we're going to be doing we're going to be testing out some of the grease items and i figured i would just make it a full face of revolution i think that makes most sense so if that is something that you like the sound of then please just keep on watching So starting off, I'm going to be doing my skincare because I've not done that yet. It's not going to be a very intense skincare routine today. I'm just going to put a little bit of sunscreen on and moisturiser. And then we will be good to go because I'm hoping my skin's not too bad, although it is quite dry around the brow area, but that is fine. It's been quite dry at that area lately because of the new... I, I got these new um, brow razors from Timu, but they're actually a bit too um, sharp. So they're just like rubbing the skin right off. And they're leaving like bumps on my face and that, although it's calmed down now, but initially it's doing that so I'm not going to be using them again I'm just going to order some from Amazon because they're less sharp and I know they work for me so yeah I will not be getting them from Timu again that's for sure so I'm just going to let that soak in and then I'm going to put a little bit of moisturiser on I haven't mentioned what I've used because it's not revolution but I will I'll just let you know I use this sunscreen from Aldi. It's the, the Cura Sun SPF 50 plus very high sensitive sun lotion. Immediate protection, 24 hour moisturisation. I quite like this one actually. It adds a nice glow to my skin, adds a lot of moisture to my skin and of course it's protecting me from the sun. So, And then the moisture that I use is just going to be my wishful Honey Bam Jelly Moisturiser from Huda Beauty. I know it's not drugstore, but I do actually have some Revolution skincare, but honestly, like, my go-to is this moisturiser lately. I'd rather just use the moisturiser that I know is going to work for me just now because my skin is so dry, because I want to give my makeup the best chance of looking good today. Alright, so we're going to start off with our brows and I am going to be using the Revolution Pro Eyebrow Cushion. This is in the shade Auburn. I got this in a Revolution set that I got from Farm Foods, actually. Uh, it's not my perfect shade to match, but it's the only brow product I've got from Revolution at the moment. I do have a brow pencil, actually, from Revolution coming. I believe it's due tomorrow, but... Right now, I don't have any other product that's a pro product from Revolution, so... Not much product seems to be coming out. I don't know if this is... It's actually dried up already. I've been that. I'll actually just go to it as well. I will not be repurchasing that again that's for sure um i don't know what i'm gonna do for my brows then because i don't have any other revolution brow product let me think this through i might just need to 
use one from Tembo unfortunately I'm sorry guys but because I don't have a natural tail anymore I can't just like not have a like do my brows if I had my tails I'd probably just be like let's just leave them but I don't so I'm just going to use this one from Timu just to do them I'm just going to prune my eyelids this is it's just an, an eyeshadow base that I got from a advent calendar from Revolution I was going to buy an eyeshadow primer from Revolution but I decided against it because I've got so many eyeshadow primers it's ridiculous and well there's no real need to purchase a new one when I've got this one from an advent calendar so it would have been very just pointless to be buying another one for the sake of it because honestly I've got too many eyeshadow primers just can't justify getting a new one what eyeshadow palette am I going to use today? I think... I think I'll go in with the large grease palette. My face is a little oilier today because it's very, very hot right now in Scotland. Extremely hot. I've got so many dog hairs on my face, it's unreal. My dog Scruffy's hair honestly gets everywhere. Everywhere. I love them, but everywhere. So this is what the palette looks like. Absolutely stunning. And this is what it looks like on the inside. It says down here, it's the word, which I love. So yeah, I am super excited to give this a go. I'm now deciding on the shades. <laughs> Just digging out a brush that I want to use. And I'm going to... Um, I'll go in with the shade Sassy. Or do I? Oh, this is actually really tough. There's so many beautiful shades in this palette. What do I want to go for? Because you could do a neutral look. You could do... A, a sort of purple look. There is so much choice in this palette. No. I'm going to go in with Sassy, which is this pink shade here. Stick to my original idea. <laughs> I'm just tapping out any creasing that has happened on the eyes I'm just blending that on the outer corner up to the crease well above the crease Winging that out a bit. Shade of pink reminds me a lot of Frenchie. I wish they called the shades Frenchie actually because I think it would actually be a perfect shade for her. Okay, I just done the other eye off camera just to save some time. Now I'm Picking another brush and I'm going to go into the shade So Adolescent, which is this deeper pink. It's a pinkish purple sort of tone, it's beautiful. Oh, that's pigmented. So far, I feel like it's blending pretty well. And I feel the pigment of this palette is pretty darn decent. I do love Revolution as a brand. 
I love the eyeshadow palettes, like, well, most of the eyeshadow palettes anyway. Just need to blend that out, that's going to look a bit weird. Um, some of their makeup products, yes, like their eyeshadow palettes can be a bit of a flop, but most of the time they're pretty good quality. And their collabs tend to be the best quality, if I'm honest. Don't worry that this looks silly because I'm going to be cleaning it up at the end anyway. I'm just going to go back in and just deepen that a little. Um, but yeah, the formula of their collabs tend to be their best formula and eyeshadow. However, they do do some eyeshadow palettes that are like crazy good that isn't from their collabs. So it depends on the sort of formula that you're looking for. Right, the other eye has been done off camera and I did actually clean up the edges off camera there because it was looking a little too crazy for my liking. <laughs> um, let's just say this is not a good makeup day for me. Usually it doesn't go that bad, but it's fine. Um, now we're going to go into the shade Honey, which is this beautiful purple shade. And I'm just stamping that on at the outer corner. So far I feel like the shades are going really, really well together. And they're blending over each other really well. Sometimes with eyeshadow palettes, like, you can't really build build the shades on top. I have had that issue with a few Revolution palettes where the, the shadows, like no other shadow will like pack on or blend or anything over any other shadow and it's a bit of a nuisance. But this is actually, like, it's really good. Like, I'm not having that issue. It's going on very nicely. And again, I have no issues with the blending of this palette. Um, I think I'm going to go in with the black from the palette just to help deepen that outer corner up just a little bit. And the black is called Dancing Shoes. And I'm just going to do one, two little taps. Because I don't want it being too crazy. I still want that shade to shine through, which it's not. So let's go back into that original brush. Um, I feel like the black actually did ruin it. Okay, let's try and just save that right now. Test the black out another time when I'm not using these sort of shades just to see if it is any good or not. Now I'm going in with the shade Feel Good which is this white cream sort of tone. It's so hot in Scotland. It is unbelievable. Okay and I'm just going to go over the edges of those this shade just to help blend it with that feel good shade. Pleased with that. Now, what shimmer do I want to use? There's so many shades in this palette. I'm going to go into the shade Graduation, which is sort of like a purple with like a blue pink reflect. I'm very intrigued by it. It looks very unique. So I'm going into that shade. Oh wow the pigment. And that, I've not even wet that brush.
Honestly, my dog's hair literally gets everywhere. It's in this palette already. He's not even around as well. He's downstairs, but... Ugh. The pigment of that shadow. I'm gonna use my finger as well just to see how buildable this is. Oh my god. It's like a beautiful purple blue reflect and it also looks so wet. <laughs> like, that is gorgeous. I mean, you can see I've not wet the brush or anything and that, that shimmer is blinding already. I know I'm now using my finger to add a little bit extra sheen um, but honestly with how shiny this shadow is you actually don't need to be doing this I'm just being me <laughs> basically like this is just what I'm like um, where did I put the cotton pad? Okay, that is beautiful, absolutely stunning. I am really, really pleased so far with how this is turning out. Now I'm going back into that shade Honey just to blend the edges of that shimmer. Absolutely stunning. Now I'm going in with the shade Honey again on this flatter denser brush just to do the lower lash line just a little I don't want it being too dramatic under there and let's get another brush I think I'm going to go in with another shimmer underneath the lower lash onto the lower lash line but what shade do I use for this? I think I'm going to use the shade Shape Up, which is this sort of pinkish peachy tone. Looks gorgeous, so let's see if it's any good. And put that in the inner corner as well. Again, I've not wet this brush and the sheen from this is like intense. Like, I reckon it would be beautiful if you dampened the brush first, but honestly, you don't need it. Like, look at this. That is like, it's such a nice wet look effect. That is beautiful. Um, I'm going to actually put some of that on my brow bone as well because why not use a pink underneath the brow bone? Okay, now I'm going to get this eyeliner from Revolution. It's the liner Revolution. <laughs> it's not that imaginative, is it? And I'll use this crappy little mirror that's in this thing that's going to be binned because I don't have a mirror next to me right now. This liner has dried out as well for some reason and it's been used so that's not getting used. Wait, I'll just use this liner from Timu then because I've started already. Uh, it's not going well for me today is it guys? Alright that is as even as I can get them today. This is such a bad makeup day for me. Don't know why. Now I'm going in to the waterline with this pencil from Revolution. It's just a black eyeliner 
from them. I think I got this also from one of their advent calendars. Okay, now I'm going to put on some lash primer, but this is not from Revolution, so I'm going to go off camera, put that on, and then I'll be back to put the mascara on from Revolution. Alright, so now we're going into the Revolution, the mascara Revolution. I've used this a few times on my channel, and honestly, I love it. I love it. I think this is the only mascara I've got from Revolution. And honestly, I think it'd be like the only one that I'd ever repurchase from them because I actually really, really like this mascara. Just amazing. And it's not even that expensive. I think it's like eight pounds or something. Which is quite reasonable, I think, for a mascara. Although I didn't pay £8 for it. I actually got this in a, another Revolution set from Farm Foods. So, but, um, once it's done, I actually think I will repurchase it because I actually really, really like it. Um, now for priming the face, so I am going into the Revolution Super Base Fitman Base Primer. I don't have a lot of primers from Revolution to be honest and I am not planning on buying any because I've got so many primers. Like so many primers, it's unbelievable. Um, so yeah, I really don't need any more primers. This is meant to be a dupe to the Bobbi Brown, um, I think it's F Fitman and Rich Primer, or I'm not too sure it's named to be honest, I've never used it, but I know it's meant to be a dupe to it. Honestly, I really like this. I also have the dupe to the Bobbi Brown from Primark, which the Primark one's pretty good as well, but I actually prefer this Revolution one because it's a little bit more oily, oil based, um, which is really good for dry skin. If you've got oily skin, I don't think you'd particularly enjoy it, to be honest, because it is very like, a greasy sort of texture. I don't think you'll like it if you've got oily skin, but if you've got dry skin like me, you would love it. Now I'm just going to prime my under eyes using the Revolution Line Fix Under Eye Primer Rehab and I actually quite enjoy this. I did have the Revolution Fine Line Filler, however I decluttered that last night and got rid of it because honestly it doesn't fill in fine lines, it really doesn't do what it's claims to do and it it peels on the skin like it, it peels up it's just no if I need to work hard to make a product work then I just don't want to like it's not worth the effort so now I'm going in with the foundation this is not a new foundation to me and it's not new on my channel I've used it a few times I do have a foundation coming from Revolution I think that's also arriving tomorrow um, I don't have a new concealer from them because I've got so many concealers but I do have another concealer from them um, it's a Makeup Obsession brand but I believe Revolution owns that brand as well so it's technically Revolution again I don't have many face bases from Revolution anymore I used to have a lot actually but um, not anymore <laughs> I gravitate more towards like brands like W7's foundations and collections and foundations and things like that these days than I do the Revolution products. Um, not because I don't like Revolution's face products to be honest, it's just 
I just gravitate towards those other ones more but um yeah I actually love this concealer sorry I didn't even mention its name it's the Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation this is in the shade F4 I can never really find my perfect match with Revolutions foundations if I'm honest because I'm used to names like I'm used to foundations being called like beige like beige like things like that I'm rubbish when it comes to like numbers <laughs> oh, like the letter and number sort of shades I can never tell I mean they do have photos online but honestly photos online they're very deceiving because they look like your shade and then it will arrive and it's <laughs> either too dark or too light. It's more of a medium coverage than a full full coverage. And now I'm using the Conceal and Define Concealer and this is in the shade C4. I'm really sorry, my dogs are barking. I say this in every video. Um, you will get used to just hearing them, eventually. Okay. I really do like that concealer. It's a really good concealer, actually. But oh, freckle that I've got in the middle of my nose. So I like to try and cover that up as much as possible. I wish my dogs would stop barking now to be honest. They're ruining my videos all the time. Um, Doesn't seem to really cover up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on again and I'll leave it for a wee minute. Sometimes leaving the product on can make it a bit more full coverage. A little there on the nose. Honestly, I don't have a lot of pigmentation to cover. Mostly it's the under eyes for me. They're always like super, super dark. Um, I think I'll actually use one of these little mini sponges. So I'm going to let that sit for a wee minute and then I'll be back. Okay. This time I haven't dampened this small sponge. These beauty blenders are just um, beauty blenders I got from Amazon, super cheap. So yeah, I've not dampened it because sometimes you'll get the most coverage when you don't dampen a sponge. Yeah, see that's covered that up nicely now. But now I'm going in with the I Heart Revolution Peak scented baking powder. I'm going to set the under eyes with that. So I'm just going in with a small sponge, blending out any creasing that may be there. And what I'm also going to actually try and do is put a little bit of this matte fixing spray on the sponge and really press that in to the under eyes just to see if that also helps with the casing. Don't know if it will but it's worth a try. So let that dry in and then I can set it. Alright, so I'm just going to get my powder puff. Again, this powder puff is just what came with these sponges from Amazon. Very cheap. Just make sure that's definitely no creasing.
through it's a different sun under eyes. That actually does make a difference. Doing like a bit of the matte and setting spray under my eyes after concealer and then setting it. Okay. I think I'll be doing that more often. I think that actually worked really well. I'm going to set my forehead with this loose powder as well just because I get a lot of fine lines on my forehead. And whatever's left on the powder fluff I'm just going to go around the rest of the face. And this will just lightly set the rest of the face. I don't need to set a lot of the face personally because again I've got dry skin. And makeup will just last on my face if I don't set it or set it, you know. I'm just lucky. <laughs> now, I do have this baked highlighter from Evolution. Um, it's a vivid baked highlighter, but it looks more like a shimmery face powder. So I'm going to actually, like, put it to the test and see if I can get away with it as a glowy face primer. Wait, face primer? Was it? <laughs> face powder. So let's see. Specks of glitter. Don't like. Do not like. I'm getting. That's getting decluttered. I do not like that. Okay, that was an epic fail. <laughs> but it's fine. You live and learn. You live and learn. Um, now for some bronzer. So I've got this Revolution Pro Naif Limited Edition palette. I'm going to use the shade Desert. I don't have a, I don't really have any single blushes from Revolution, to be honest, or um, bron single bronzers from them. So I figured I would just use what's in this palette. Because again, I'm not really wanting to spend money on products, just. For if I do, I know like it's a makeup channel, but I'm very skint right now because I'm a student, and the money that I'm, I've got, I'm keeping for food. <laughs> in all honesty, keeping it for food and just in case I need to buy anything for college for my kit. So I can't really justify buying items just to using a video when I can just use what I've got in my collection and honestly it does the job it's pretty I like it the thing is you don't need a lot of like different face products to make things work you really don't Honestly, if you don't even have like a, a bronzer palette or anything from Revolution, you could probably just use an eyeshadow from one of their palettes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like a blush palette from Revolution, but I didn't want to be digging out loads of products, to be honest, because I'm doing another video after this. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to use the shade Darling, which is in this palette. I am not... 100% sure if this is a shimmery blush or if it's a highlighter um, but it's getting used to the blush now so from Revolution this is the Hopelessly Devoted highlighting palette from the Grease Collection I'm going to go in to this latest shade here You know what, it does have this like really deep shimmery pink. I might try that as a shimmery blush as well actually. No harm in trying. 
because I do like a very shimmery blush so if I can make some of these work as blushes that would be actually like amazing for me and I can actually that is beautiful yeah if you like a shimmery blush you can definitely use these as a blush because this shade would be too dark as a highlighter for me um, but it's perfect for shimmery blush on myself I'm just going to set it with this setting spray this is the Planet Revolution the Matte Matte Fine Fixing Spray that just smells really nice I can't quite put my finger to the smell to tell you what it smells like, but it smells it smells good. Um, I don't have um, a lip liner from Revolution. It will work with this Revolution lipstick. So I've just chosen a cheap liner that I got from Amazon. This is the Makeup Obsession Edit Match Maker Lip Crayon and does it have a shade? I don't know if it's got a shade. It does not say what shade it is. I got this for free. I think it was actually in the mystery bag that I got from them. I'm positive it came in that mystery bag. Again, I don't have many lip products from Revolution, if I'm honest, like, because I don't really buy lip products very often, and when I do, I do tend to buy sets, so that I've got multiple different, like, shades, and it's always sets from Amazon that I get, to be honest with you, because, honestly, I'm not a big lipstick wearer, so I really don't like spending a lot of money on lip products. Um, I do have some MAC lipsticks, don't get me wrong, like, I'll spudge money on MAC lipsticks. But I don't tend to really buy lipsticks very often at all. And I've got so many that I really don't need to be buying anymore. That's why I don't buy any of the lipsticks from the Grease Collection, because I've just got too many lipsticks. And I don't use them enough to justify buying more lipsticks. Okay guys, this is the final look. My hair is a bit of a mess, but it's fine. It's always a mess because I don't straighten it because I would refuse to use heat products on my hair because I'm trying to get it to grow and yeah. But this is the final look. I do need to fix those lips actually. Now that they're a bit more up close. It's actually a beautiful shade. I would definitely use this shade. It's the sort of shade that I would gravitate towards if I'm going to wear a lipstick. So, yeah. And I feel like it goes quite well with this eye look. The cheek situation is just gorgeous to me. I love it. Maybe a bit too glowy for some people, but I love super glowy blushes and highlighters so I'm quite pleased that I can actually use some of the shades in this highlighter palette as a highlight and shimmery blush because I love a shimmery blush um but yeah this is the final look guys what do you think um hopefully you enjoyed watching this video and I will see you in my next one bye guys